Today we're talking about WandaVision. Um, I don't have a drawing for you today because I'm just trying to pump these videos out. Wanda, I just watched WandaVision. Um, and yeah, let's, let's talk about WandaVision. Um, Marvel is definitely stepping out of their comfort zone and experimenting with things that they've never done before. And we can definitely see that with the, the new Marvel series coming up on Disney+. Plus. Um, and this is the first... Um, uh, yeah, this is like the first Marvel thing to come out, um, after Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home. So, yeah, it's pretty cool to hear the intro again. Um, it's a little different because it's at home, but this is the first Marvel TV show. And I think from what I've seen, I think they're onto something. I was a little skeptical, um, when it came to like the shows and stuff and some of their plans for the next phase. A lot of the heroes we don't really know, but you could say the same for like the Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't really know any of those characters and then it became like one of my favorite Marvel movies. So yeah, they're gonna dive deep into these new characters. Um, and yeah, the shows, I think that they can really do something with these shows, um, especially with WandaVision from what I've seen. Uh, so we start out in like the 50s, I'm, I'm guessing. It's like around the 50s. And then the next episode, you can definitely see changes in, like, the way it's filmed. Um, so we're, I'm guessing we're going up in time, obviously. Because on that last episode, colors started to flow through the house. And now we're getting seeing color. So I'm guessing now we're jumping to the 70s. Another really cool thing that I found um, that I was really impressed with. It's not something that they just threw together. You can tell that they, they took their time with this. Um, especially with these different timelines. Even with the f framing, the filming, um, we get little glitches towards the main story that's in the background as we're watching the sitcom WandaVision show. Um, and it's, as as time goes on, we're exploring and we're realizing what the story is really about, um, which we'll have to wait and see. But uh, something really cool in the first episode was the special effects. Um, when Wanda's like lifting stuff and throwing plates and shit, it felt like I was watching something from like Twilight Zone. Like actually back in like, I don't know when that show came out. I'm blanking out. But it felt like that kind of special effects, like for, for that time, it didn't feel like normal Marvel special effects that they would just throw in. They're actually like diving deep into the, the time periods they're filming these in, which is really interesting. And I really like that. And yeah, we're getting little like little Easter eggs. We saw, and the first episode, that one little dot of light in the commercial, um, the red light in the, I forgot what it was, was in the, the toaster or whatever it was. The, the, I like how they do ads too in between, uh, in the middle of each episode. Um, that's also a really cool thing. It really brings in the, the vibe of the, just watching a TV show back in like the fifties or whatever. And you can definitely tell, I mean, I've seen a few like clips and stuff from like fifties, uh, TV shows and sitcoms and all that um, and they usually tend to do and they got this really perfect it, I feel like I was watching a 50s TV show or sitcom um, they would usually they usually have like long shots and they rarely I mean not as much they don't usually cut like they do in like the modern day films and TV shows and stuff and you can definitely see that change especially in the first few minutes of the next episode um, we're seeing more movement, it's fast paced, um, and things are starting to pick up pace because the story's going on and we're slowly building towards something. Um, like we got little Easter eggs, we saw the helicopter, the red helicopter, the red dot that I was talking about, um, the red blood on the girl's hand, some bee guy crawling out of the sewer, I don't know what that's about, but it's interesting. It's definitely an interesting start to a series that I was a little skeptical about. I, I, it's definitely experimental from what I'm seeing. Um, nothing we've seen before. Um, and I'm excited to see where they go with it. We'll find out in the next episode or whatever, which I will probably do another one of these shorter videos for. Um, sorry, I don't have a drawing. Um, just trying to pump out videos, see how it feels. I feel like this is a lot easier for me to just like pump these out. Um, occasionally I'll do videos when I dig deeper and analyze things. Um, but yeah, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, 
and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. I think I got some reactions coming out too, so videos are pumping out. Peace out, guys.